The lives of local people could be improved by maintaining forests sustainably to reduce the effects of climate change. This has been demonstrated in preliminary research on Nepal's community forests. Trees and plants absorb and store carbon dioxide during photosynthesis. According to the IPCC, deforestation and forest degradation contribute about 20% of global greenhouse gas emissions annually. So one approach to mitigate climate change is to reduce deforestation and forest degradation by managing forests sustainably. Providing incentives to developing countries for reducing emissions from deforestation and forest degradation is known as RED. When RED activities also cover forest conservation, sustainable management of forest and enhancement of forest carbon stock, such initiatives are referred to as RED+. Plus. All forests conserved by communities are eligible for such incentives. However, there are still many questions on how to implement RED+. Plus. In Nepal, almost one-third of the land is covered by forest. Efforts have started to look at how to compensate carbon storage in some forests protected by communities. A RED payment pilot project has been started with funding from the Norwegian Agency for Development Cooperation and in collaboration with the International Centre for Integrated Mountain Development, the Federation of Community Forestry Users Nepal and the Asia Network for Sustainable Agriculture and Bioresources. This project aims to develop a structure and system for transparent, fair and inclusive Red Plus payments in forests managed by communities. The pilot program has been started in community forests in three watersheds in Nepal. Communities have already been conserving these forests for two decades. Under the Red Plus project, last year this community forest got about $350 for storing 103 tons of carbon. The amount of annual carbon storage in a forest has to be measured for Red Plus payments. Until now, there has been no easy and reliable process for measuring the carbon storage in forests. But under the project, forest users have learned to do this work themselves. They have been doing it for two years. Goma Shreshta of Gurkha is one of the local resource persons working for Forest Carbon Inventory. She and the members of her group are now measuring this year's tree growth and calculating carbon storage in Lakshmi Women's Community Forest. Now, Goma Shreshta teaches other local users to measure the carbon stored in the forest. The project has demonstrated that investment of time and money in red measurements can be reduced through capacity building of local people. Carbon storage alone does not determine the rewards that community forest user groups get from the Forest Carbon Trust Fund. Social and economic aspects are also considered, such as the population of indigenous nationalities, Dalits and the poor, and the participation of women in conservation. The relative weight given to these different criteria is set out in operational guidelines. The guidelines were prepared through interaction among different stakeholders to make the distribution of benefits fair, transparent and inclusive. People from Boch village of Dolakha district used to have to travel to a village almost 10 kilometers away to have their clothes tailored. This year, they could invest the money that they got from the Forest Carbon Trust Fund to train local women in tailoring. 
This has created employment in the village and increased women's income. Some local user groups have used the money from the Carbon Trust Fund to introduce biogas and improved stoves to reduce their dependence on the forest for fuel wood. This has not only conserved the forest, indoor pollution has also been reduced. Local user groups have used the money from the Carbon Trust Fund for sustainable management of the forest. Fire breaks have been created in the forest to prevent forest fire in dry seasons. Gorkha did not see any forest fire this year thanks to good management. Kankali Community Forest in Chitwan spent the money from the Carbon Trust Fund to make a fish pond to benefit poor and Dalit users. 80% of the income from the fishery goes to the community's 18 Dalit households. A watershed level red network brings representatives of the many community forests in the watershed together every month to share achievements and solve problems and disputes associated with red plus activities. This is Kayar Khola watershed in Chitwan. There are 16 community forests here spread over almost 2,400 hectares. Carbon storage in this watershed increased by 3,303 tonnes in 2010 and 2011. The Multi-Stakeholder Central Forest Carbon Trust Fund Advisory Committee is a verification agency and makes policies and regulations for the fund. It has 10 members including representatives of government and civil society organizations. District-level Forest Carbon Trust Fund advisory committees include participants from district forest offices, district-level ethnic associations, the Red Network and district chapters of the Federation of Community Forestry Users. This ensures transparency and inclusiveness in decisions and payment procedures and a sense of ownership among stakeholders. Multi-stakeholder monitoring committees have also been formed at district level to facilitate and monitor the use of the red payments. जिल्ला भरको जनि एउटा जनि कार्यालयहरुलाई एक ठाउँमा राखेर हामी सल्लाह गर्दा अब डेपुसी त बसेर जिल्ला वन कार्यालयको डेपुसी त बसेर जिल्ला विकास समितिको प्रतिनिधिहरु सिधै बसेर नेफिन जनजातिको जनि प्रतिनिधिहरु सिधै बसेर महिलाको प्रतिनिधिहरु बसेर यो जंगल र अब जनताको समस्या के हो त जंगल र जनताको बीचको कन्डिसन के हो यसको सम्बन्ध के हो यसलाई जनि सुधार ल्याउन पर्ने जनि पाटोहरु के के हुन् यसमा रहेका समस्याहरु के के भएर हामी आज एक ठाउँमा बसेर यो रेड प्रोग्रामले हामीलाई एक ठाउँमा ल्याइदिएको छ सर हामीलाई खुसी लाग्यो छ the watershed level networks have become a useful example for learning about RED at the local level for university students, policy makers and practitioners from across the country and abroad. Based on the learning and experience from this pilot program, the Nepal government plans to establish a National Forest Carbon Trust Fund.